Gwenllian was the youngest daughter of the Prince of Gwyneth, the largest and most powerful principality in North Wales. She was known for being incredibly beautiful. Poems had even been written in her name. Griffith Ap Rhys was a strong, tall, dark-haired warrior and a prince in his own right of a territory in the south of Wales. Griffith had just come back from being exiled for 20-some years in Ireland. As soon as he came back, Griffith had been fighting to regain his kingdom from the King of England, Henry I, and he needed help. So he went to the powerful region of Gwyneth to ask for protection and support. It was then that Griffith Ap Rhys first met the 13-year-old Gwenllian. The two fell in love and eventually eloped and moved to Griffith Ap Rhys's lands in the south. Life in Wales at this time was particularly tense. The Normans who had conquered and invaded England had been trying to do the same in Wales. Norman kings had brutally come in and taken land. Castles had been built to control and suppress the people. Kidwelly Castle was one of these. The kings of England had placed their own men in charge of certain areas known as marcher lords, and in Kidwelly, right in the heart of Griffith's lands, the person in charge was a man named Maurice de Londres. Gwenllian and Griffith were forced to live in the forests and mountains. It was there she raised her children, while Griffith would lead raids on Normans ever trying to get his lands back. In 1135, Henry I, who had launched many bloody and harsh campaigns against the Welsh, had died, with his only heir to the throne being a daughter, Matilda, who was far away on the continent of Europe when the king had passed. Her cousin, Stephen of Blois, had stolen the throne from her, and England was divided and fighting amongst each other in a war called the Anarchy. Griffith and many in Wales saw this time as the perfect opportunity to take back their lands. Griffith Ap Rhys decided to go to his father-in-law in the north of Wales and ask for help once more to aid in the fight. Gwenllian even sent a special letter to her father, who is now old and blind, to accompany her husband. Dearest father and mighty king, to demonstrate the sincerity of our request, my husband makes personal attendance upon your court, and I beseech you to consider carefully his intentions. It was decided that the couple's oldest and youngest child would go with Griffith, and two of their other sons, Morgan and Malguin, would stay and protect their mother. Their youngest child was just a baby at the time. When Maurice de Londres found out that Griffith had left, he wanted to take advantage of the situation and crush Gwenllian's family and their power in the area. While Maurice had a large force at his disposal, he knew he needed more men to truly crush the fast guerrilla warfare tactics that the Welsh would employ from the forests and mountains that they knew so well. A group of reinforcements from the English was dispatched. Gwenllian got word that the reinforcements were on their way and gathered as many men as she could to defend their land and their families against Maurice de Londres. No other woman in Welsh history had led an army, but Gwenllian took up the charge. Fighting alongside her were her two sons. It was written that Gwenllian marched at the head of an army like the Queen of the Amazons. Unfortunately, they were no match against the well-trained, well-armed, Anglo-Norman forces. What ultimately sealed her fate 
was a native Welshman who had joined with Maurice as his lieutenant and given up her position. Gwenllian was executed for treason just outside Kidwelly Castle. Some say she whispered, remember me, just before she died. Others say a spring welled up right on the spot that she died and that her ghost still haunts the castle. Gwenllian's youngest son, Rhys, would become one of the most powerful lords in the land and would dominate politics in the southwest of Wales in the later part of the 1100s. He would also eventually take back Kidwelly Castle and would be recognized as the undisputed ruler of the region his mother fought so bravely for.